I'm just looking day to day, uh, hoping that my mother didn't wasn't exposed to COVID-19. Peter Wheeland, who lost his 85-year-old father to COVID-19, now worries for his 87-year-old mother, a former resident of the CHSLD Heron in Dorval on Montreal's West Island. He claims that neglect of seniors continued at the facility even after it was taken over by local health authorities in the region. We were so happy when we heard that the, the CS was coming in and new staff was being brought in. We were confident that the cavalry had arrived and were going to save my mother. Um, but then we were hearing like uh, 10 days later that the same kind of problems were occurring. City News brought you the story of alleged neglect at the CHSLD Heron on April 8th after a volunteer nurse exposed seniors lacking care when she volunteered at the residence on March 29th. When I entered the rooms, uh, I discovered that their lunch trays were not even touched. Their mattresses were full of urine. Uh, the wheelchairs that they were sitting in were drenched with urine. I believe that they were sitting in the urine and feces for about a day or so. The owners of the facility telling City News on Wednesday, it is obvious that we are experiencing some difficulty staffing during these unprecedented times. We are trying our best to keep our staff protected during their work shifts and paying them bonuses. No matter the amount of staff on the floor, we always assure that services are given to our residents and that they are fed, but it may take longer than usual to assist. On Saturday, the provincial government confirmed 31 deaths, at least five from COVID-19 had taken place in the residence since March. March 13th, saying they only got all the information at 8 p.m. on Friday night. Health Minister Danielle McCann praised the response of the CIUSSS de l'Ouest de l'Île de Montréal, who now have trusteeship of the privately run facility, saying the situation is under control. But Wheeland claims his mother was still neglected even after local health authorities went in. Some days it was horrible. You know, some days she was left in her bed all morning. Uh, uh, her diapers weren't changed. Uh, she sat in her own uh, excrement and, and, and urine for long periods of time. That happened on a couple of occasions, including after the CS took over. Lynn McVeigh, president and CEO of the CIUSSS de l'Ouest de l'Île de Montréal, says the organization couldn't see how severe the situation was at the beginning as the owners of the residents weren't collaborating. We were going in and evaluating patients, but we were not um, collaborating very well, and we were also not able to stay there long enough to do the kind of evaluations that were needed. Um, and, and so it was only on the 8th of April when we got our ordinance letter that we were able to send our teams in to do that kind of evaluation. Our teams were not welcome. Connie Whelan's family moved their 87-year-old mother to another facility on Friday. Peter says the family will see she gets private care as police, health authorities and the Quebec coroner investigate CHSLD Heron. We're all going to know in, in hindsight exactly what, what happened within those walls. And I think that's an important process to go through because we need to learn from it. Um, but, you know, that doesn't change the situation for 31 families who lost a loved one. In Montreal, Sharon Yonin Reynolds, City News.